talked to a couple of people personally, um, and I've kind of gauged why. I really don't understand why they're not using social media and some of these uh, some of these tools. Um, coworker of mine says it's one more thing to check. She doesn't have the time. Which I admit, if you go to if you have to go to Twitter.com to find all your tweets and to tweet, that can be time consuming. You know, no one, not everyone has access to you know, Wi-Fi connection or everyone has access to the internet in any other device. Um, but the thing I was bring up to her is because Twitter and all of these tools, social media tools, you're not tied down to one thing. So for example, TweetDeck, I have TweetDeck running. It's running here, it's running on my phone. If I need to send a tweet, ask a question, a couple seconds, okay? Um, whereas had I not been using Twitter and I needed to get in contact with somebody, or I needed to find, uh, you know, we talked about learning, how much time you can save learning. It's a great example. You don't have the time, well then how do you, how would you have justify having the time, you know, the countless, I don't know how many hours it would take to get the kind of information you get just from maybe, I don't know, 9 to 12 on Twitter. I don't need everyone to know what I'm doing. Um, there are people that, uh, that treat social media this way, and, uh, you know, they just want, they really don't care what they're sending out. They just want to push, push, push. And my answer to this is, you know, don't generalize everyone. This isn't the whole Twitter or social media uh, community as a whole. You have the power. If you don't like what somebody's saying, unfollow them. Twitter's superficial. Twitter's super, but again, it's general. Um, Twitter isn't superficial. The people you're following are superficial. So if you don't like what somebody's saying, Superficial, maybe you just don't care for what they're saying, or they're not providing value. Because to me, social media, Twitter, these tools, the bottom line is it should help you improve your business. It should save time, and it should work for you. So don't play by anyone else's rules. If you don't like what somebody's saying, or if it's not being valuable, then unfollow them. I'm not creative. My brother-in-law said this to me. And I was pushing my uh, Twitter, and she says, I'm not creative. And I explained to him, you don't have to be creative. A couple things you pro probably do have to be personable, um, not a jerk and uh, I'm just a human, you know? Because pretty much what we're doing here is being authentic, creating a relationship. So if you can have a relationship with anybody, then you can be involved in social media. Wrapping up, a couple of steps for um, social media success. Set it, be authentic. You know, if you represent a company on Twitter, disclose that, be transparent, say, I am involved with this group, this organization, I feel this way, these are things that, uh, that I'm doing. Um, the other thing, Twitter, you're, uh, so when somebody starts following you, your Twitter page says a lot about uh, who you are. So make sure you have a friendly picture, maybe URL, bio. Let people know who they're getting invested in. Be yourself. Everyone else is taking it. That's their wild. And then uh, consider social media policy.